of hip hop millionaires. Who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? Million. So, list from Forbes detailing the next batch of hip hop's hip hop's next billionaire. I think after Jay Z was announced that he's the current billionaire. So you know, some of those guys have a lot of catching up to do. And it's again, it's interesting the breakdown in terms of all this um, money and all that wealth in terms of in terms of the biggest acts. Most of it comes from outside of music, which again goes to show just how fucked up the whole music industry is in terms of how you can make money in that kind of industry. Um, but again, it shows a, a direct template for kids coming up about what you have to do if you then want to make the big bucks. No real excuses nowadays. There's so much information, so much information. And the good thing about these five guys um, featured here, Kanye West, P. Diddy, Drake, Jay-Z and Dr. Dre, is that they all occupy different lanes in hip-hop. I think yesteryear, you probably only could have had one person leading a charge. One person is the one, one person kind of, you know, flying the flag, one person getting all the endorsements. But nowadays, maybe with the advent of the internet, and maybe would I wouldn't say so much so streaming. I say the internet has probably unlocked more opportunities for these guys outside of music than anything else. And obviously, with hip hop now becoming a cultural uh, movement outside of music, from taste to aesthetic to fashion to hair to clothes. It's now they're now able to kind of put their finger on different pieces of the pie, right? So people might not listen to Drake, but they want to drink the Drake, the drink Drake drinks when he goes out. They might want to go in a nightclub or a shisha bar that he and his friends might frequent. So there's different avenues you can kind of appeal to without directly being people being fans of his music, going to his tours, buying his merch. A really cool um, thing. So Forbes has kind of broken it down. It's a short article I'll read to you now. Link in the show notes for you, for you guys. For those of you guys that are listening. So um, the article starts off with the title Hip Hop's Next Billionaire Riches Rappers 2019 written by a guy called Zach O'Malley. Um, so the, it starts off saying the following. Back in 2017, Jay-Z made a bold statement in a song about his lyrical prowess and future financial uh, fortunes. He has said the following, I'm already the GOAT. Next stop is a is the Billy. Uh, sure enough, Forbes declared him hip-hop's first billionaire. Earlier this month, the news caught the attention of observers around the world, not only due to the breadth of Jay-Z's financial achievement, but also because of what it meant for others looking for follow his steps. Jay-Z entire life is a real blueprint says hip-hop pioneer Fat Five Freddy long-time host of the show UMTV Raps he's one of the first examples of our lifetime of one who's truly achieved the American dream and billionaire status of course especially if you know you know his humble beginnings on the Marcy projects um, naturally Jay-Z tops this year's ranking in hip-hop's richest um, stars um, who will be the next billionaire in the rap world the answer is almost certainly one of the names below so number five wealth in from what Forbes have declared um, Drake has a combined wealth of 150 million the 32 year old rapper is the youngest in list by a decade. He's quickly gaining ground in hip-hop's elder statement. Drake's fortune grew 50% over the past year, boosted by holdings in a range of real estates. Um, from real estate to his Virginia black whiskey. I wanna really want to try that shit. I think I might do a review of that later. Um, try everyone's liquor. Who doesn't have a liquor in that group? Uh Jay-Z's got one, Drake's got one, Diddy's got one, Dre doesn't have one, and Kanye doesn't have one. So I'll try these three liquors and do a little video of it coming up very soon. Uh, he's got his Virginia Black, he's as well as a lucrative tour and new residency X XS nightclub in Las Vegas. Um Kanye West is next, 250, 240 million, which is amazing considering where he's come from and the financial struggles that he was talking about. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. He took the show by the road in Coachella, Sunday service, hawking socks. Despite the claims of 53 million in debt, uh beseeching Mark Zuckerberg for one million, but one billion to fund his future endeavors. West makes his debut on his list thanks to a, another another patron, Adas, which lured West from Nike. Um, our accounting on West's wealth is almost entirely predicted on the conservative estimate of his brand's value. As it continues to scale up, he could one day join his sister-in-law, Kai Jenner, as a billionaire. P Diddy, of course, seven hundred forty million. Mama mia! Yeah, the quote says, "I started my business career at age twelve, delivering newspapers." Diddy said. Um, since then I've always understood that if I give the customer my best service um, and service them differently whether music drinking or vodka um, I'll get a return on my hard work the artist formerly known as Puff Daddy uh, dips to number three on the list as into as industry trends weigh on some of his holdings including the cable network revolt of course which is kind of stagnating a little bit and clothing line sean john though diddy has sold much of his stake of the latter and he retains a sizable piece but Ciroc, the main driver of his fortune is growing again yep especially the new flavors they have now at the moment watermelon and a few others i've seen people promote i love that i love the um influences he's getting too he's getting a lot of those like instagram models to kind of advertise some of his stuff like that drea girl the india love and a few other people doing adverts 
I must have saw Christina Milian doing an advert too for it. I like how he's kind of allowing the influencers to do their own little pieces of content, similar to what Burt Kreischer does for his tour. So that's pretty cool. Um, imagine if Burt Kreischer drank the rock. That would be so awesome. He'd make some really good promotion, but he's only drinking Tito's and soda and shit, isn't it? Is Tito's a vodka? What is Tito's? I think Tito's a vodka, isn't it? Tito. Tito's. What is that? Is that a vodka? Yes, a vodka. So maybe you can drink that. If you met Puff Daddy once, that would be fucking awesome to see. But so Rock, the main driver is Fortune, da, 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 blah, blah. Number two, we've got Dr. Dre, 100 million. We know why, what that's for. Any other things here? He gets system into our school, blah, blah, blah. And then number, obviously number one, Jay-Z with a billion. Jay-Z looks awesome with the, with the dreads now, doesn't he? Yeah. So yeah, um, that's, again, here's a list of people. And again, th this is like the new, um, what do you call it? The new Mount Rushmore, isn't it, for hip-hop kids and girls all around the world so i guess if you're wanting to you know pursue your dreams and you're wanting to achieve higher things in life and reach for the stars with that malarkey you only have to look at these guys look at their blueprint look at what they're doing and in general i always say especially people ask for advice and stuff i think the best advice you can get from people is following their actions see what they do not not don't listen to what they say follow their actions in your own little way interpret it how you like to apply it in your endeavors and then see where it takes you in it um the process is usually the most enjoyable thing about it anyway the money at the end is awesome but i think some of these most of these guys aren't really motivated by money um of course if you come from dire straits the money the aspect of like not being broke again is going to be something that's going to wrangle in your head but for the most part once you reach that level of financial freedom it starts to all become a bit of a game the process is fun you know starting from one mil and then trying to flip that to two or starting from one grand trying to put that to 10 that's all a big game that they like to do again and again and again so again follow their examples and who knows maybe you could be on that list too who knows who bloody knows